Nice. Yeah. Hi. You want me to go first or you want to go first? You could go first. Okay. First of all, I thought long and hard about this, and the reason, what's precipitated this is I read your comments. In yeah, how did you read my comments? Uh, the guy faxed it to me, the guy named... Uh, yeah, Chauncey. Chauncey. Okay. And your comment, uh, to sum it up, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but... Well, why not? Because it's boring. No, no, it's not boring. It just tells it the way it is. Why don't you read the whole thing? Okay. Well, I read it on the air already. I just didn't want to repeat it. I, I, oh. I got you on the phone. You can talk. Why should I read your comments when I can have your comments directly? That you're blaming me for a bad appearance that you had on our show. And, okay, maybe I'm a crummy interviewer or whatever you want to say. No, I, that's not what I said. Maybe you didn't read it. No, I did read it. You're no, saying that I'm losing it, that I don't have an edge. And I said, gee, that's pretty interesting, you know. Uh, coming from a guy who dropped, you know, Andrew Dice Clay became Andrew Clay. You mean when I did seems, another series? So yeah, you know. yeah, exactly. It seems to me you're blaming me for a bad appearance. No, but maybe you can blame I yourself. I was bad. Well, I didn't say I was bad. I said you were a little off that day. What, you can't have an off day? I wasn't off that day. I was not off that day. You go to go on a oh, well, play the show over again. Well, I am. In fact, it'll be on each. It'll be on each night. No, the audience is. Listen, people are going to come up to you and suck up to you. But here's the point. No, people come up to you and suck up to you. I don't suck up. I don't. No, I don't see any people. I don't even see. I know. Good. Someone wrote you a joke. No, nobody wrote me. Anyway, rap boy. Yeah, that's nice. Between me and you. Here's the deal. You know, things have gone badly for you, and it's the end of the career. I understand that, oh, and I had you on as a mercy you booking. You know how stupid you sound even Guys, let's admit it's like over. That. Did you see the ratings on your yeah, show tonight? End of a career. You're at the bottom of the ratings. Yeah, right. In the meantime, it's 5.30, right? Wait a second. Here it is. I'm not making this stuff up, Dice. I, I, you, if you want me to kiss your ass, I'll kiss your ass. But here it is. I need you to kiss my ass. Number 107 hits. The last... Make sure... Hey, Howard, before we start, at least make sure my mic is on, okay? Your mic is all the way up. Okay, good. Your mic is all the way up. The show isn't doing well. Don't talk about ratings. Talk about your ratings between you and Mark and Brian. Don't talk about my ratings. What about my ratings between me and Mark and Brian? Oh, Bunch of quotas. Oh, you, you know, you yeah, see, here we right. go. You see, it's going to get into the thing where you're going to sit there and lie. No, I'm not going to lie. You're the one that's right, Mark and Brian are beating me. You're Think absolutely lie, right. Baby, Mark and Brian are beating me. Mark and Brian are beating me. They're really tremendous talents. Everybody knows you're telling the truth. That's right. Here, you want, yeah, you want, yeah, 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 since you don't have anybody yeah, around you, you went on Geraldo. You went on my show. Yes. You went on the Keenan Ivy Way and show. Yes, sir. They were horrible appearances. Yeah, okay. All right? You didn't prepare. You had nothing to say. I well, said to you, it was I left horrible. you in. Uh, you? Okay, here's You're the deal. You're not even a comic. How do you judge any comic? I went and asked you, listen, That's I know I interesting know. people. You don't even have to be funny. Be interesting. I say to you, guys. How's your relationship? How's your relationship with your wife? about lies, Howard. How's your relationship with your wife? You go to me, hey, Howard. I love my relationship with my wife. I built a disco in my basement, and we make love down no, there. Not in my basement, and it's not a disco. In the pool house, oh, excuse me. In the pool house. That. All right, that's the funny part. Yeah, All yeah right. I take time to spend time with my wife. You Good. Know what I mean? Good. Instead of hanging out in the back of strip clubs with chicks jumping on my two-inch killer for ten bucks. Well, let me tell you something. At least that's a funny bit. Yeah, no, it's to not talk it's about that. Life. Yeah, it is my life. That's but I talk true. about my real life, and you don't. Why don't you come on the air and admit that your career's over? Yeah, why can't you ever face me You're while you're on the air live, huh? Hey, I why did a show with you live. You didn't say anything. I understand. You didn't bring up a thing. If you're having a problem, you bring it up. I wasn't having a problem. You were. You said, hey, man, Howard problem. was having an off day. Hey, look, you're the one that jumped right I guess Geraldo had a rough day. Keenan Ivan Wayans had a rough day. The people who created your CBS television show had a rough day. Hits is having a rough uh, day. You had a rough day. Your I'm movies had a rough day. Back. Everything's had a rough day. Why do you got to just... Brain Smasher had a rough day. Everything has a rough day. Everyone's fault but Dice's. I, all I was talking about was... So you got to you know, go in the paper and badmouth me. If you had an off day, you had an off day. What do you got to say Howard had an off day for? Because you did. You just sat That's such a lot. I just sat there. I go to your dice. Have a fight with me and Jack. Dice, why do you think? Ago. I wish you would have done something. I go, Dice, why do you think a lady died? Here, I'll give it to you again. Hey, Dice, 
I say to you, what do you problem. think? You see, you're going to get into name calling, but here's the point. I, I'm no, giving you some constructive. Just, they're like a muted. Okay. Problem. I'm trying to give you constructive criticism. Well, and I'm trying. If you to go on a show and the host it. says to you, "What do you think of uh, Lady Wait, Di?" and you go like this. Hey, the song Parry You did is in bad taste. That's right. And you, mean, you never did anything in bad taste? You'll see how the rest of yeah, I'll check my ratings on that. When you have a career like mine for 20 years and you're making the kind of money I am, then you'll tell me about careers. Yeah, I, I got no career. I got no money. You have no career. You know it's you over. It all, right? it's, it's over, guys. Over for who? For you. Yeah, that's why you're still on radio, right? How's the hits? Your big movie. No, I guess I guess Please. my movie that made $43 million and I got people knocking on my door, yeah, Brain Smasher, I guess Brain Smasher's dying for a sequel, huh? Yeah, if you had such a big hit. And my radio's a hit. And why don't you write a book, guys, and we'll see how many copies you sell. You can't help it. That, that why don't you do a pay-per-view special against me and we'll see who sells more tickets. Why don't you write a book and see who, if you can sell any? Most of the sales I've made. Because you can't even sell a goddamn ticket it anywhere. Yeah, all right, you're right. And, and you if you're going to sit and blame now. me, if you're going to blame me for your career, man, that's a sad comment. And if you're going to blame me for being Rat Boy, that's your problem. Whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, whatever. And you look great, man. Yeah. You're about, you're yeah, about 25, 30 way. pounds yeah. overweight with your hair plugs. I, I could throw and you I'm sitting there. Skin ugly for a month. Yeah, now. that's, yeah, now that's great. About? Great, now you come to life. Yeah, that's right. Now you come to life. life. You and you know what's odd? And here's the and here's the set. Oh yeah, you're hugging me and telling me, "Hey Howard, can I call you?" Uh, what? And then you got to go badmouth me the next day and, no, and because you're so goddamn you jealous. Off and you were off. All right. The show is on tape. With Geraldo, but uh, you have, I'm the one guy you feel comfortable saying is off. You, can, you don't talk badly about anybody. Mr. Big Shot, who can't even talk about Lady Die. You can't talk about your wife. The only person you can talk about is me. It shows what a goddamn coward you are. I say, hey, you got a gay assistant. Oh, that's not why I hired him. Gee, I, I'm, you're a laugh riot. I like my gay assistant. I think the only reason you're not coming out of the closet is because then you could be turned down by both sexes. And you know what? If I came out of the closet, I'd admit it and do something I, I funny with it instead of what you do. Dress. Admit your career's over. Yeah, That'd be funny. Time you dress like a girl. And Letterman. And you wear your hair in a bun like a girl. And I love your big red jacket on Geraldo that didn't fit to hide your fat from yeah. um, from Geraldo. You're yeah. embarrassed. Yeah. With a big red jacket. Who designed that? Go to. How do you keep the change for parking meters, Howard, in your park monitor? What'd you do? Did you write it? Did you write that one down? You you the and then on top of it, Dice, you can't get on Letterman and Leno. What is it? Letterman and Leno won't have me on, he says. Five years. Letterman and Leno won't have me on because I'm too controversial. Letterman and Leno won't have you on because you got no material. In the meantime, you didn't have the balls to speak up against Letterman. No. After the show is over, everything you said was right, Dice. Everything you said, but of course you. What are you Letterman talking about? Because you like to do Letterman, you didn't have the. You can't get on Letterman because you have no talent. go. I can't believe it's over. It's over. Back nobody. It's over. You're talking about yourself. It's over for you. Your book, guys. Hits is number one hundred seven. The way you are, Howard. You will be off UPN. Well, why would they? Where do you go after UPN? Where do you go after UPN, guys? You move it in. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, like Ford Fairlane did. What a joke. $25 million, Ford Fairlane. Good luck. And, and by the way, Letterman and Leno won't have you on, not because you're controversial.